Marge Wright is here from the Arizona Humane Society with this kitty up for adoption. This is a pretty kitty. It sure is. Now, she's about three months old. She's a little bit past the kitty-kitty stage, uh -huh. but she's not an adult yet. Still a kitty. <clears throat> right. Now, she's going to be kind of what we call medium long hair. Uh -huh. She's not real short hair, but she's not going to be real long hair. And she's three months old, and she will be available for adoption today at 11 o'clock. And her adoption fee is $30. And we give $20 back to them after that she gets spayed or neutered. And, of course, she will be spayed. Uh -huh. And when she's about six months of age, she should be spayed. But the girls brought this one to me to bring down because it says she has a really special personality. Look at that face. She's singing now. She is such a calm kitty. Oh, and right. she's very gentle. Uh -huh. I was playing with her, and she doesn't put her claws out. She really is a pretty kitty. And we have so many nice kitties and they're easy to take care of okay. and they can be in the house all the time all right we like people to keep them in the house yeah. that way they you don't have a lot of hurt. kitties down there a lot of cats well we have a lot of cats you have a lot, lot of older cats yeah older, older kitties, cats yeah, so older. we would like them to get home soon yes of course okay sure. okay thank you marge thank you Susie, right all now right. but we have another guest Lago, i want you to meet the bubble lady hey welcome hi. to the show thank you angie how'd you get started in the bubble business well, I'm always looking for new things to do with my kids for fun, and mm -hmm. we were looking through some library books, and we came across Bubbles. All right. So we started doing some experimenting. You've launched into a new career then. Where do you do all this bubble business? Well, I do it just around the Scottsdale Phoenix area. I do birthday parties and bubble tricks for different things. Okay. Oh. If you want to get a hold of the bubble lady, just uh, give me a, uh, send me a note, and I'll send you back how you can get a hold of her. Now, make us a bubble. Okay. I brought along some things that boys and girls might enjoy. Uh, trying at home. These are things you can find at your house that will make bubbles. Uh -huh. This right here is just a cardboard tube from uh, some wax paper or paper towel. And you're hmm. dipping it in what? Yeah, this, now, is what my, is... this is my special bubble recipe. All right. Oh, there's a bubble. Look at it go. And there's a bubble. Whoa, hey. Another thing you can use is this funnel. And I put a little piece of plastic tubing that you can get at any hardware store. You mean you can make a square bubble? Well, not exactly. Hey, bubble lady, what's in the tray? We go, oh, you go ahead with the bubble first. Look at that! That's easy! These are a little harder to launch when you get a big window like this, but that's another thing you can use. And of course, this is from a Coke bottle or a Pepsi bottle. This one is a little more difficult to do. All right, now, wait a minute. Why in there and then in there? What's the well, secret here? It, it's not really a secret. This is a stronger solution, and because the lights are hot, bubbles don't like warm air. They like cool air. And so I'm using a stronger solution because I think it's going to make a better bubble just because I'm in a studio with hot lights. She knows what she's doing. Oh, look at that. Uh, how about that? Oh, you're both nice and easy. Huh? Is it that stuff this ever so carefully? Wow. Okay. Right. And those ones take a little practice because it's big. Another thing that surprisingly makes a bubble is a hanger. Yes, and you yes. need a smaller one like this. These are kind of kids' hangers, I guess you'd call them. Get your hands wet because anything a bubble touches that's dry is going to make it pop. Now I'll stand back a little bit and see if we can get one here. Oh, oh me! All right! Pretty so good. that makes a bubble too. A third thing, or a fourth thing that I brought along is this piece of PVC pipe, and this will also make a bubble. Look at that. And that All right, any design. difference on the two tubes on the kind of... Uh, it's just wider diameter. Hey, this one's got my name on it. This one's got my name on it. Do I do that? Oh, I do this. Yay! Good one. That's great. <laughs> hey, that was a lot of fun. Jody! Here. Yeah, you got little bubbles in the bottom Look at the there. bubbles. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> Do you want to see the big bubbles? The yeah. big bubble. Okay, here we big go. Bubble. The big bubble. Grand finale bubble. Cross your fingers, everybody, because today's a very warm, dry day. And bubbles yeah. like cool, moist day. I didn't know that. So we'll see if we can get one. While a cartoon is on, is it okay if some of the brownies try this? Sure. Okay. Oh, okay, here you go. A little bit of mess here. Whoa. Here comes the bubble. Oh, that was good. Let's try it one more time. Maybe we can close it off. Okay. Oh, yeah, got to wet the hands. Yeah, get the hands wet. Is that just two straws and some string, huh? Now, a day after it's rained, you can get big. Oh, wow! Be sure, be sure and 
give me your uh, phone name and phone number so I can have people get a hold of you. Yeah, I want to play. Come this. in. Oh, hi, Captain Super. I was in the bubble business once. I really took a bath. <laughs> Who says like conservatives aren't funny, huh? That was a good one. Oh, yeah, but you, when you talked to me on the phone and said you were coming down, it sounded rather urgent, rather serious. Yes, it is. But then again, a real hero can make the transition from comedy to a serious, desperate plea. Just like that. I'm going to have to ask my supporters for help, Wallace. What does that mean? I need money. Lawyers are expensive. How much do you need? $350,000. <laughs> Again? Yes. $270,000 of the legal defense fund, and the remaining $80,000 for my personal bit. What's that? The Captain Super Soupmobile Auto Agency. Soupmobile? Is that a pretty good car? Uh, we're having a few problems. They've all been recalled. This is unbelievable. In fact, it's not even particularly funny. Of course, it's just a TV show. This couldn't possibly happen in real life. I told you it was too preposterous to work. Nobody would believe silly stuff like this. Come on, write me better stuff when I come in. <laughs> oh, yes. Sir.